Here we go. Genesis 17, 17. You guys writing this down? Good. What, what, what? Genesis 17, 17. All right. Sarah was 90 years old when Abraham was 100. Okay. Uh, everyone, you can fact you can be fact checking. I'm I'm jotting this stuff down, but you can fact check some of this. We don't need to fact check because I've been through it a million times. Uh, but go ahead and fact check this, and you can you can uh, you can uh, do the math here because I'm predicting again. I haven't done his math here. I'm predicting there's going to be a lie. I'm predicting that. Uh, so Sarah. 90. I'm pretty, pretty sure I went through this a while ago on Twitter, but I don't really remember it anymore. So, yeah. Let's see. I've, I've gone through I've gone through several examples of people trying to do the math. They always lie. They always lie about uh, the the closing passage of Genesis 22, or they just leave it out and say and state it state something from there as a fact. All right. So Genesis 17:17. 17, 17. All right. Sarah was how old? 90. 90. When Abraham was. And this is in Genesis 1770. Look, they're <laughs> like they're all doing this. Right? <laughs> 17, not 70. 1717. Ibrahim alayhi salam or Abraham was 100 when Isaac or Ishaq was born. How old was he? 100 when Isaac was born in accordance to Genesis 21:5. Alhamdulillah. Genesis 21 5. Okay. Sarah died at the age of 127, according to Genesis 23 1 and 2, verses 1 and 2. How old was she? <laughs> he did. How old was she? He stole that from me. How old was she? Nine years old. Let me back, <laughs> let me back up a little bit. We back up a little bit here. We don't want to miss this. We might watch the entire clip again. Okay. Sarah died at the age of 127. 127. According to Genesis 23, 1 and 2. Verses 1 and 2. Genesis 23, 1 and 2. How old was she? 127 years of age. Okay. When she died, according to Genesis. Mm -hmm. Not according mm -hmm. to Islam. Just talking about the Bible here. Mm -hmm. Genesis 23, Verses 1 and 2. Okay. Isaac, Ishaq, alayhi salam, was 40 years old when he married Rebecca in accordance to Genesis 25, 20. How old was he? 40. According to Genesis 25, 20. Giving you evidences for all of these. Sarah, one second, one second. when he married Rebecca in accordance... Okay. Isaac, 40... Ishaq alayhi salam, when he was married. 40 years old when he married Rebecca in accordance to Genesis 25 20. Genesis 25, How old was 20. he? 40. According to Genesis 25 20, giving you evidences for all of these. Sarah was 90 when Ishaq was born. How do we know that? Concluding from 1 and 2. If Sarah was 90 when Abraham was 100, and Abraham was 100 when Isaac was born, then how old was Sarah when Isaac was born? 90, right? Very clear. Ishaq, or Isaac, was 37 when his mother died, because 127 minus 90 equals what? 37. You guys with me? Let's go back a little, just so everyone gets Ishaq, that. Ishaq, or Isaac, was 37 when his mother died because 127 minus 90 equals what? 37. You guys with me? You with me or no? You see the clear verses? Okay. You lost track? In number three that I mentioned, Sarah died at? 127. And she was how old when? Isaac was born? 90. 90. So if you subtract 90 from 127, what do you get? 37. So that means Isaac, according to the Bible, was 37 when his mother Sarah died. Since Isaac was 37 when his mother died, and he was 37 when Rebecca was born. Ah, right? there Rebecca it is. 
you catch the lie? Uh, I think everyone so. catch that. Okay. Now notice he's giving sources. This I'm saying this because they do this. They do this for people who are too gullible or too stupid to actually follow it. They'll which which one? Which one was the last verse that he mentioned? He didn't. That's the point. Okay. <laughs> That's the point. He just claimed it. <laughs> what a liar, man! Okay. But notice what they'll do, right? I'm saying this because I've seen this over and over and over again. Ah, look, Genesis 17, 17. Uh, Sarah was 90. Abraham was 100. Genesis 21, 5, Abraham. Uh, Abraham was, uh, was 100. Sarah died. She was uh, uh, 127. This is Genesis 23, 1 to 2. Isaac was 40 when he married Rebecca. This is in Genesis 25, 20. Sarah was 90 when Isaac was born. That's because if we put these two together, we get this. And Isaac was 37 when Sarah died because we can do the math. And since... Since Rebecca, since Rebecca was born right when Sarah died, that's how we... Wait, what? Say what? You, you, yeah, you don't you don't really have that. Uh... So, say what, Shake? Where where do you get that one from? Let, let's go back. Because <laughs> look, he just says it this time. He just says it. He's given reference, 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 reference. And if you're looking, you're getting references on how old Sarah was. You're getting references on how old Abraham was. You're getting references on how old Isaac was. What's missing is how to tie all of this, any of this, to an age of Rebecca. How are you getting an age for Rebecca? You got Sarah, you got Abraham, you got Isaac. What are you missing? If you want to say, here's how old Rebecca was, you need some sort of connector that when so-and-so was this old, that's when Rebecca was born or something like that. And here is where Sheikh Uthman gave zero reference because there is no reference for it. They just lie. Let's go back. According to the Bible, was 37 when his mother Sarah died. Since Isaac was 37 when his mother died, and he was 37 when Rebecca was born. What? Where you get that? Right? So he's 37. He's 37 when Rebecca dies. I mean, when Sarah dies, he's 37 when Rebecca is born. Where are you getting the claim that Isaac was 37 when Rebecca was born? Sheikh Uthman fans. Chapter and verse. Very simple. Chapter and verse. She was born when he was 37. It's very simple. Ch he gave chapter and verses for everything else. He gave chapter and verses for all the other stuff. Where's the chapter and verse? Obviously, maybe he forgot to give it. So I'll, I'll give you guys the opportunity. Chapter and verse saying that Rebecca was born when Isaac was 37. And therefore, that since he was married when he was 40, she would have been three years old. Go ahead. A uh, young Christian's thought said, I just realized Uthman is calling a three-year-old girl stronger than Andrew Tate. <laughs> calling, hang on, let me, let me Google this. Uh, I've done this in the past, but uh, so she waters like, Rebecca waters like 10 camels. How much uh, water? How much can a camel <laughs> drink? It, it, they'll tell you that three-year-olds were different back then. They were very strong. <laughs> 53, 53 gallons of water in three minutes. <laughs> a typical, a typical camel. This is from West Texas A&M University. It's the first thing that pops up when you look. A typical camel can drink 200 liters, 53 gallons of water in three minutes. So 53 gallons of water. She watered 10 camels, I think. And so, uh, yeah, this little girl uh, lugged 500, over 500 gallons of water back and forth. And yes, that would be stronger than even top G, Andrew Tate. Well, um, back then, it, it was a different environment and a different time. Back then, uh, girls used to age much faster and get much stronger, which is why a three-year-old girl was much stronger than top G today. That explains it, of course. Yeah, so um, let's go ahead and finish out this clip. But Rebecca was born when Sarah died. What? Where? Wait, so what? <laughs> Rebecca was born when Sarah died. Where are you getting that? You gave references for everything else, Shake. Where's the reference for that? Oh, there is none. You made that. Well, you didn't make that up. You got it from other people who made it up. But that's the point. You guys uh, concoct the lie and then you all share the lie while claiming to respect the prophets and lying about them simultaneously. Let's go ahead and uh, catch the remainder of this. He was 37 when his mother died, and he was 37 when Rebecca was born. Oops, no reference. Right? Because Rebecca was born when Sarah died. What? Wait, what? <laughs> he gave references for everything else except that. My goodness. No, so, not needed. what no does that mean? Needed. 
That means, it means that you're a that liar. Isaac was 40 when he married Rebecca. Huh? How old was he when she was born? 40. 37. He married her at 40. What, where, where was the reference that, that, that she was born when he was 37? Where was it? Oh, yeah. You made it up. Huh? So Rebecca would be how old? Three years old. Look, look, they're all they're all chanting it already. Three years old, three years old. Based on what? Based on based on Sheikh Uthman's lie. But uh, let me back this up slightly. Let's see what his conclusion is. Hey, Rebecca. Huh? How old was he when she was born? 40. 37. He married her at 40. Huh? So Rebecca um, would be how old? Uh -huh. Three years old. It's all verses from the Bible itself. Oh, nope. You didn't get so the verse. If you want to talk about child marriages, let's talk about it. Now look at this, look at this, look at this way. Huh. This is something to keep in your da'wah tool. If somebody, so, Christians, bring up the age of Aisha radhi anha, tell them, okay, let's talk about the Bible. We'll go ahead and take a look at the passage. Here you go. So this is at the end of Genesis 22. So you have the passage about the uh, uh, Abraham and Isaac here. And then at the end of all of this, at the end of all this, you get this little comment that Abraham gets finally gets some news from home. He's been away from his family for a long, long time, and he hears some news. Notice it says, sometime later, Abraham was told, Milka is also a mother. She has born sons to your brother Nahor. Uz the firstborn, Buzz his brother, Kemuel the father of Aram, Kesed, Hazo, Pildash, Jidlep, and Bethuel. Bethuel became the father of Rebekah. Milka bore these eight sons to Abraham's brother Nahor. His concubine, whose name was Reumah, also had sons, Teba, Geham, Tehash, and Malka. So, the claim, the, in order to get an age, you have to say, Rebekah and all these other people were born right now, right when Abraham heard about it. <laughs> this isn't Abraham hearing some news. Hey, here's all, here's all your relatives who've been born while you're gone. And they were born over a period of time. It's, nope, Abraham got new. He got the email. He got the email right when it happened. Oh, hey, all these people were born. And that's when they were born. That's, guys, that's how you tie it. That's how you supposedly tie it. Is that a good argument? No, that is one of the dumbest things ever uh, argued by anyone. And keep in mind, you know, Sheikh Othman isn't the first one. He isn't the one to come up with. There have been Jewish rabbis who made that same exact mistake in order to get an age of three. They were contradicted by others who pointed out how stupid that is. So here we go. Um, this is the story of Isaac and Rebekah. Abraham was now, we'll zoom through this because uh, it's a long passage. Uh, Abraham was now very old. The Lord had blessed him in every way. Anyway, Abraham wants a wife for his son Isaac, and he sends his servant. Uh, servant says, what if she, what if the woman, notice he's sending him for a woman. <laughs> what if the woman is unwilling to come back with me to this land? Shall I then take your son back to the country you came from? Uh, and Abraham says, no, don't take my son back there. Um, then the servant left, taking with him 10 of his master's camels loaded with all kinds of good things from his master. He sent up for uh, Aram. Uh, then he gets to the town. Then he prays. He's going to pray for a sign that he's got the right woman. Um, and, and go ahead and look, uh, daughters of the townspeople. May it be that when I say to a young woman, so he's looking for a young woman, He's not looking for a toddler. He's looking for a young woman, not a toddler. See it right there in the middle of the page? When I say to the young woman, please let your jar down that I may have a drink. And she says, drink and I'll water your camels too. Very strange to have a three-year-old offering to water your 10 camels. But uh, that's Sheikh, uh, Sheikh Uthman's story. Let's see. Before he had finished praying, Rebecca came out with her jar on her shoulder. So Rebecca uh, fetches the water for the family. She was the daughter of Bethuel, son of Milcah, who was the wife of Abraham's brother Nahor. The woman was very, woman, wait, I thought she was a toddler. The woman was very beautiful. The toddler was very beautiful, a virgin, no man had ever slept <laughs> with her. She went down to the spring, filled her jar and came up again. Pretty strong girl, because you know, jars weren't light back then. The servant hurried to meet her and said, please give me a little water from your jar. Drink, my lord, she said. She gave him a drink. After she had given him a drink, she said, I'll draw water for your camels too. 10 camels and they can drink what? 53 gallons in three minutes each until they have had enough to drink. So she quickly emptied her jar into the trough, ran back to the well to draw more water and drew enough for all his camels. Without saying a word, the man watched, blah, 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 blah. When the camels had finished <laughs> drinking. What are you laughing at? <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Imagine a three-year-old. Yeah, a three-year-old. That's, that's It's like hilarious, right? <laughs> 
Verse 28, the young woman ran and told her mother's household about all these things. So anyway, um, guys. My son is three year old right now. And <laughs> I just, yep. I'm my just son's, picturing that. Yeah, my son's five. My son's five. <laughs> and just the idea of him being out, being out in the field, you know, carrying his water jar. And then some uh, some guy shows up. And he's like, ah, I'll water all 10 of your camels for you. <laughs> Someone put that's 4,000 pounds. Oh, <laughs> Someone's doing the math and concluded that's 4,000 yeah. pounds. So you have no indication even slightly that you're dealing with a three-year-old here. Sheikh Uthman claims it, and they all use the exact same stupid, absolutely deceptive claim that right when Abraham heard news from home, that's when that's when Rebecca popped out of her mom's womb. That's right when it happened. <laughs> Stupidest claim ever.